Hi, welcome to Odin's Unkindness. Today we're playing Vampire. This is going to be a blind playthrough. So uh, let's dive in and see what we got going on. Loading screens. This game features an autosave system. Neat. Vampire. Or vampire, I guess. Let's get the save slot open. Select a new game. Game difficulty. This game difficulty is tied to your actions. The more lives you... Alright, I guess I wasn't reading that. Thanks, game. Twelve dreams for the Red Queen under Crown of Stone. Eight voracious beasts born from eight restless mm. nights. Four nails piercing That's the flesh of the sinner. That's a lot of numbers to remember one this early in a game. For the summon called Eight, by this four, song. one. It is perhaps the countdown to oblivion for the once proud city of London. Tis perchance her inhabitants last dance alone to face death and pestilence. Confronted by the eerie and unknown, mortals became desperate for answers. A flock's flight makes for an omen. The falling of a star, a dire presage. Turning to priests for interpretation when there was no reason to be found. a really cool intro, when though. I like the art style on this a lot. Science. I saw them build such vain cities, crafting machines made for endless war. New questions flourished as old answers withered. What is darkness but lurking sun? What is war but enslaved stone? What is glass? But tortured sand. What is song but a call to arms? What is hate but jilted love? What is life but death pending? Facts. We all are just waiting to die. Death. Since the apple was plucked from the sacred tree, mortality was believed to be God's righteous snare to keep mankind from ascending to the stars they were all so wrong death is not a wicked thing nor some holy retribution a true punishment would be to never know its sweet kiss awaken from the harshness and be born I'm alive! Well, I guess undead, if I'm a vampire. I think this is our character here. Crawl out of the body pit. Fun shit. stuff I should say. All right. Looks like I have control of the camera now. Where am I? I guess I'll follow these, uh, this walkway here. Oh, I don't think he's uh, doing too hot. So let me, I need to change these controls real quick because I am a crazy person. 
and I need inverted controls. Back. That's much better. Oh, looks like there's some uh, some blood here on the ground. Maybe I should follow the blood. We look more. What's that? There's like. Person glowing. So thirsty. I should talk to them. Hello, glowing heartbeat. I think this person knows me. This isn't going to end well for them. I just murdered my friend, or lady friend. Oh, sister. Okay. drank like a crap ton of her blood. I don't think she's gonna be okay. No. No. Nope, she is not okay. This is a heavy start to this game, huh? It's a nightmare. Eyes look dead. No! Wait a moment, let me explain! That guy didn't say anything. He just automatically shoot me. That's not how shit works. These patrols are after me! No! No! Don't shoot! Please don't. This is a nightmare. Alright, where, where am I running? I need to get out of here! I do. We do need to get out of here. What was your name? Jonathan? Jonathan, we need to get out of here. Where where do we go? Can I climb? Can I can I jump? Alright. So the circle button does that sort of dodge this move. Can't be I'm gonna jump. No, please, Herman, stop. where? I mean you no harm. Oh god. That dude had a shotgun. I'm not sticking around to What's talk to him. On? I will jump down here. Oh Mary. What have I done? You drank What's her blood? About? Ooh, what's that? A weapon. I'm an it now. You know no, I can defend myself. Because draining people of their blood is no way to defend yourself. Crap! 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 Lock on. Get away from me! But you left me no choice. Are you though? I'm just saying, like, these town folk want to constantly shoot at me. I'm not that sorry. Just defending myself. So, 
looks like I'm in some sort of a smelting factory here. Trying to get away from these crazy townsfolk who saw me uh, murder my sister. Keep calling me vermin. Like I'm a rat or something. I think they want to kill you, Jonathan. Let's take a peek around here, see if there's anything interesting on this side. I can't, like, interact with any of these objects, so I'm gonna guess no. There's nothing interesting over here. Let's go through the door! Or not. I can hit the wrong button. I can do that. Well, that's not I good. No harm. I, I need help. Die, you fucking leech! Ha! Huh. <laughs> out of bullets. Please, listen to me. I can't make any sense of this. Shut up, beast! Who are you? What is this all about? Ah! ah what in God's sake? I'll do the rest ah, of the job. Ah, ah, just, just leave me. Ah! 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 ah. Sun bad. Got it. I will stay out of the sun. The sun? It feels like it's burning me to the bone. Hmm. I'm guessing the only way to get health back is... Drink blood. Let's see, aggravated damage. Certain elements, like fire, will deal aggravated damage that reduces your maximum health gauge. Which is the green bar up there. Alright, so fire and the sun is bad. Who'd have thought? I need to find somewhere to hide. I do. Let me go! I cannot enter. That door is locked. Oh. Hold circle to, I need to find shelter. Yeah. Looks like that's the way I need to go. Let me get in there before the sun comes up fully. Is anybody there? What is this place? It's a good move. Barricade the door. This seems abandoned. I should be safe enough here. All right, let's take a peek around, see if there's anything useful in here. Anything that helps explain what's going on in this weird world with vampires. Let's take a peek at that. It's like a photograph or a drawing. Reflecting on the horrible Mary. act I just committed by murdering Mary. my sister. I'm sorry. Whoever did this to us, I will find them. I mean, you did it to her. We don't know who did it to you yet, but but you definitely murdered your sister. What's in here? Bottle of alcohol. I think he'll need that tonight, after uh, what just happened. I know I would need at least one bottle. Probably two. Uh, some shillings. I got some five shillings. Uh, so that'll probably be the currency in the game. Ooh, collectibles, huh? Let's take a look at those. Wrong button, again. Alright, so here's the map. Right on the river Thames. All right, cool. This looks like the uh, equipment page here. Looks like you can have two weapons, some serums, and then maybe some uh, supernatural powers over here later on in the game. 
inventory. No bullets. Oh, the bottle of alcohol is considered junk. Average resale value. This item can be recycled into components. No quest items yet. Where is the uh, map thing I just picked up? Citizens. All right. Interesting concept. I don't know what all that's for yet, but I'm sure we'll get there. No quests. OK. I don't know where that thing went that I just picked up. Awesome. I had better remain here until nightfall. Guess I'll go explore some more. That's the door to exit. Let's go upstairs. What's up here? Empty bookshelves. Order the windows. Sink, sink. Well, there's, there's a lot of sinks in here. This isn't even the kitchen. Like this is, I guess, the bedroom. Hmm. Some more shillings. Take a peek in the mirror. This is a terrible mirror. How are you even seeing that? Like we were ambushed from behind. No. No. I still have so much to accomplish. I still have so much left that needs doing. I'm too young to die. Oh, dead body. Suicide? There was a pistol in his hand. I'll take that. You won't be needing it anymore. lost we need to leave and now no. there's time i can save him that's the enemy coming the orders are to evacuate Flashbacks the hospital. to the war apparently done he'll live and now what we fight killing is a hell of a lot easier than healing it's a hell of a medic No, it never got easy. So you're like if Watson turned into a vampire here. Doctor, back from the war. Now we're going to go solve mysteries and hunt vampires. Bloody Diary. Huh. 15th October, bad sleep. Becky coughed all night and the fever made her delirious. I heard a loud noise in the morning. It's a big machine some men brought by the banks to dig a big hole in the ground. It was some sort of mechanical shovel. Maybe I could go there and ask for some work. Becky needs medicine. 16th October. I talked to the men with the mechanical shovel. They told me they're digging mass graves all around London. Safety measures, apparently. Is there a new epidemic? Is the flu coming back? They had no work for me. Becky slept a little last night. The foundry has been closed, and there are no more jobs nearby. 19th October. I went to London to find some groceries and drugs. No trains. 
took me the whole day to cross the Thames and come back. Becky seemed better. I made a soup she ate. I found no drugs, only a few syringes and some sleeping pills on the black market. We have no money left. Maybe I can go on the Pembroke Hospital tomorrow. But it's so far, and I fear leaving my wife for so long. 19th October. Becky threw up the meal a few hours after she ate. She is so frail now, it makes me cry. She says she hears voices outside at night. She, sh she says she wants to eat meat. Where would I find meat? Tomorrow, I'll barricade the house to protect us from looters. 21st October. The men with the mechanical shovel have stopped digging the mass grave. I heard shouts last night, as if they were attacked. Now there are only a few boats throwing bodies day and night into the giant hole. The smell is terrible. We should have left this house a week ago. But Becky, she refuses to leave. She'd rather die, she said, with a nasty smile. Why is she tor torturing me so? 22nd October. Becky just attacked me. She jumped on me from the stairs and tried to bite me. I had to smack her, but she smacked me back. I went upstairs and locked myself in the bedroom. Now I can hear her crying and mumbling downstairs. I retrieved the gun I hid in the ceiling since the war to protect the house. Now I'm ready to use it to protect myself from my own wife. 23rd October. I could not sleep at all. Becky spent the whole night scratching at the door, asking for my help begging me to let her in, but I was too afraid to open it. Just waiting for her to die now. It would not be long. I pray God it will end soon. 24th October. I was so hungry I decided to go downstairs this morning. Becky was sitting in the armchair by the chimney. She was panting like a dog, looking at me without moving, just following me around the room with her eyes pointed the gun at her sore face, but she did not react, could not pull the trigger. I went back to my room. 25th October. The house is silent, like a tomb. No more noises. Becky is dead now. Forgive me, my love. I was unable to save you and be with you soon enough. Well, that's depressing. This is not a very happy world that we have uh, wandered into in this game, Vampire. Uh, I think I'm going to lay down and take a nap. This makes no sense. None of it. No sense at all. It's a nightmare. So be it. He thinks that's going to work. Rational thinking only. Trophy. Let's take a peek there. Okay, that's not loading. We'll just go back. First trophy for the game. From here to eternity. Go to the shelter and rest. This is absolute madness. I've lost touch with the real. Madness it is. As mad as the moon. You take these blood beasts into a glowing flesh. 
Evolution. Hideout beds allow you to evolve and rest. Spend experience points to level up and improve your vampiric skills. Alright, so we get to level up. Begin by selecting the available skill Autophagy. Alright, I guess that's this one. Autophagy, level 1, 200 healing. You drain your own blood to heal normal and aggravated damage instantly. All right. So this is 600 points, it looks like. And I have 1,710. So here's the description for autophagy. The vampire uses the power of his blood to heal normal and aggravated damage, increasing his flesh, nerve, and bone regeneration. With time, this vampiric ability can be extremely powerful and is sure to surprise any unwary vampire hunter. We think of vampires as immortal, but if you can block their unnatural regenerative capabilities, they are more vulnerable than you think. And a lot. Very arcadey animation for the unlock. You have enough XP to unlock an aggressive skill. Choose one to unlock now. Alright, so it looks like we have options on this one. Claws, Blood Spear, and Shadow Mist. Let's take a look at what those are, and we'll, uh, I'll pick one. Claws are a close-range strike that will cut through all living creatures in front of you. So a melee attack. Blood Spear, you throw a spear made of blood, which can pass through enemies in front of you. Alright. Shadow Mist. Place a cloud of shadows at the target's feet or yours. The cloud will explode after a short time, causing heavy damage. I think I'm going to go with the claws. Quote at the bottom of the description is, if you use your claws, you will see humans differently, like soft and tender meat. All right, uh, confirm to save your choices. Let's go ahead and do that. Ooh, what are these? I don't have enough for it. Hard biting. All right. belong to the one who made me what I am I must find him to understand what I have become so it looks like we have no idea what's going on uh, and in order to figure out what's going on we need to find the person that bit us let's take a peek at the quest log real quick which is Eternal thirst, identify and confront the vampire who created me. Okay. So we need to reach the north bank. Probably going to go back to the uh, place where we got bit and see if we can track down the vampire that bit us. Where is it? It's closed. Looks like some looters are trying to break in. These people want me dead. I need to leave now. Oop. Here's the leech. A leech. It's a fitting name. We've discovered teleporting. My head's spinning. Locked, all right. Let's take no. Nope, can't go over there. Downstairs it is. Anything of note down here? Of course, the dead body. 
An offhand weapon. Weapons can be used by pressing triangle. They have attacks with special effects and consume stamina. Also picked up a shelter key. So looks like I got a stake for my offhand weapon. Nothing else in here. Let's head outside. I'm still in Southwark. I must reach the West End. Go back Smash out. some barrels, see if anything. Doesn't seem like there's anything in the barrels in this game, so uh, there's not really much point to smash them. Alright, stun. Press triangle, use your stake, and inflict stun damage. Stunned enemy can be bitten. Die, vermin! Alright, press X to bite a stunned enemy. Biting an enemy provides you with blood to use your skills and refills your health. Blood, press R1 to unleash a vampire skill. Let's do that now. Alright. Uh, claws are definitely a useful skill to have. That was a one hit kill. Every fiber of my being is a fire. I feel like a child learning the limits of my body. That's a little stiff so far. My reflexes. I'm not human anymore. Ooh, I see something flashy over here. Some aluminum powder and some more shillings. That could be useful later. Any reason to come up here? No? Just can't? Still working my way back to the north bank to try and track down this other vampire, the one that turned me, and get to the bottom of things. Just gotten my first like fight after upgrading my vampire powers. Your king and country need you. Join thee and help thee. Hmm. propaganda posters for the war. Join the British ranks and help the brave lads at the front. My poor sister. If only I had control of my need for blood. Mary, someone will pay for what happened to you. For what happened to us. Hmm. Thirst for blood. It's apparently he can feed on the rats, and he has a thirst for blood. What's that? More shillings on this homeless man than in the house. Looks like this door's locked. It's locked. I hear more rats. There it is. Nom, 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 nom. This is despicable. This door's also locked. I cannot enter. Gonna teleport across. Whoosh. Yep. The dizziness from the jump. I can now control it. Sounds like he's becoming used to his powers, or at least the teleport it's jump. Go way through this. It looks like it's blocked. 
long hallway. Ooh, more rats. Yum. I can't believe I'm Believe it, Jonathan. This. You're eating rats. What will London have to say to me? I think they've told you what they have to say to you. Kill it! Kill the vermin! Locked doors. I cannot enter. I have so many questions unanswered. So do I. So do I. Limehouse Dock. man has been drained of all blood, but I can still smell the scent of it. Hmm. I follow the scent's trail. Perhaps it will lead me to my assailant. Follow your nose! Alright, so I need to use my vampire senses. Fresh blood. The smell is so follow strong. Follow this blood trail. Try and hopefully track down the vampire that bit me. Hmm. There is no one in sight. I don't see any more blood. Let's wander around till I pick up the trail. There's some blood. At last, a little life. Speak with the locals, all right. Good evening, sir. I wondered if I could ask for your help. Wow, you look like you need a drink. Yes. I apologize for my outfit. It's been... It's been a long night. Been there, seen that. Don't worry, things can only get worse. Let's figure out what's going on around here. What's going on around here? It's like everybody is hiding. You must be new here. Have you not heard about the murders? Everybody fears the return of the sewer dog. Sewer dog? Who is this sewer dog? It's a local bogeyman. Convenient answer for every crime that happened for decades. You murdered someone, blamed a sewer dog, eh? This guy uh, looks very drunk. Looks way drunker than he sounds. But isn't the boogeyman just a fairy tale? You make it sound like it's a fairy tale. People will always believe in monsters. It's easier than accepting their own darkness. We can all be monsters. This guy's definitely not as drunk as he's moving around. Has anybody entered the bar recently? Can't say. Sorry. I spent the night making love to that gorgeous bottle, see? This is important, sir. Are you sure no one has come in here in the last few hours? I don't know and I don't care. This is a free country. People still have the right to come and go, don't they? All right, that's enough of you, Wobbles. You to your bottle, then. Here's somebody. And I'm on him. Oh, God, sir. You look like Jonah's whale. Just spat you out of hell. Can I get you a drink? No, thank you. I disagree. I'm not... Alcohol. Not well, grab a chair and get some rest. This is going to be another long night. A long night, you say? 
Why is it going to be a long night? You must be new around here. Don't you know about the murders? About these murders? Tell me more about these murders. Every morning for the last few weeks, bodies have been found. And those poor sods didn't die of flu. Do the police have any leads on a suspect? Uh, even before the outbreak, coppers never came round here. We're on our own. People die in these parts all the time, and no one mm. cares. That's no good. I care. I'm a doctor. But where are we? Where am I? Where is this place? You're at my bar, sir. The turquoise turtle. The last ray of light in this dangerous part of town. Aren't you scared? Scared of what? All the bad shit happens out on the foggy streets. <laughs> and I never go outside. Ah, that would explain your... paleness. Actually, it's London, not really. It's foggy. So you're open all night? Yep. Figured people might need a place to rest in these dark times. That's my kind of bar. Open all night. All right, let's get on with the quest. I'm looking for someone. I'm looking for someone who might have passed through here recently. Wondered if you might help. It's been quiet tonight. The only other person I've seen went straight up to his room. <laughs> Thought it was kind of rude, actually. You mean he's still here? Well, yeah. We paid for the entire week. How long has he been here? He rented the room a few days ago and didn't say when he'd leave. Who is this man? What does he look like? Well, like a gentleman, I guess. Well dressed. A vampire. Right. A professor or something fancy like that. Always writing, reading notes. I need to meet this man. I have questions. Just climb the stairs and knock on the first door. I heard him open his window, so I guess he's still awake. And, sir. Uh, yes? No funny business. You hear me? This is a respectable establishment. I live long enough to see them wet boot boys get what's coming to them. Let's see what this lady wants before I go upstairs. Hello, sir. Are you alright? Is there any way I can help you? I don't know. Maybe you could just talk to me. Maybe you prefer to speak with Tom then. He's more agreeable talking to strangers. I just want to talk. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm not afraid, sir. It's just I've other customers to take care of. Who? I only see one The customer. one super oh. drunk guy? Well, yeah. Of course. I mean, I'll best check on them. What's going on around here? Where is everyone? Too many dead, sir. First the epidemic. Now all these terrible murders. Epidemic? What have you heard about the epidemic? The ah. Spanish flu. Yeah. Killed so many last summer. Thought we'd seen the last of it. Dozens dying every week. Are the authorities doing anything? Nothing. There are so many quarantine zones in London now. It's gotten really hard to travel across town. The murders. What can you say about them? Bodies found in the streets every morning. Drained of blood. It's just horrible. Some Silver say. dog. The sewer dog is back. The sewer dog? What's that? No one knows. People have always disappeared around these parts. The ancients say it's the sewer dog coming out to feed. But now he's killing in the streets. What is this place? This is Tom's bar. The turquoise turtle. I'm the barmaid here, Sabrina, if you want to know. You already know the answers to these Are questions. Are you always open this late at night? No, it's only since the epidemic started. Tom thought that people may need a safe place to stay. You don't seem to have much business. Where is everybody? Well, most people are sleeping right now. And those that are awake tend to avoid going out. What with the murders and all. Except for you. You're wandering in the streets at night. I'll leave then. Jonathan. Thank you.
Alright, let's go talk to the man upstairs. Poor Jack. I didn't deserve this. It's a good thing we have this to look back on. This is no place for you. Prewen has several patrols roaming the area. They do not suit your needs. But they're looking for vampires, and they're most efficient. They'll not relent until the killer has been identified. I have a common objective, but I require... Damn right. Someone's hunting vampires? You might as well come in, whoever you but are. also is a vampire. Slowly, vampire. Oh. Who are you? I mean you no harm. Say it's a vampire. <laughs> Present yourself. I I need a word. Wait. That's a powerful Anyways. cross. <sighs> and you're a trustworthy man. <sighs> well, that's something I can do for you. Dr. Edgar Swansea. He's got some good blood, it looks like. He's a pillar of the community. Hubie. First, tell me, who are you? First, tell me what you want. Then I may tell you. That's none of your. Concern. That's why you came in this room. Sir, you have entered my room in the middle of the night, pale as a corpse and shaking like a tree. So please, indulge me. Something, someone, is molesting people. In fact, killing them, biting them. The calling card of a vampire like you. You can't be serious. I'm not a. You have no. been drinking rat blood. I can't be a, a vampire. Sir, believe me, this is very real. You are <laughs> a vampire. Then if you are not a vampire, who or what are you? Dr. Edgar Swansea of the Brotherhood of St. Paul. I am performing an independent investigation here in an attempt to understand precisely what is going on. What have you uncovered concerning the murders? It started a few nights ago. Rumors of violent murders. The docks have always been, shall we say, somewhat unsavory. But this is different. How different? A vampire is at work here. Famished. Reckless. It must be brought to ground, and quickly. Alright, so we've established that we're all looking for a vampire that is murdering people in this area of London. And what exactly is this brother? Sir, if the name is not familiar to you, then we shall discuss it another time. Fair enough. I heard another voice, that of a woman. Who were you talking to? Ridiculous. I have no idea what you're talking about. Something tells me not to trust you. Then the feeling is mutual. Then help me find the culprit. That didn't really flow well. I may. If you'll first tell me why you opened this door. I followed a trail, the scent of blood from a recent victim. It led me here. You thought I was your aggressor. That explains a great deal. We are both chasing the same shadow. A 
shadow, indeed. Yet I heard his voice in my head. There was a moment I believed I was mad. You should let me handle this affair. You've no idea what you're up against. No. I will find the monster. He is mine. How will you do any better than I? But then let me ask you this. What are your intentions if you find the killer? I don't know. I... I don't know yet. Hmm. Then I can only wish you good hunting. And pray we shall meet again. Alright, so we met Dr. Edward Swansea, who uh, appears to be part of the Brotherhood of... where... where did he go? So he was here. No, I can't find him. Ah, there he is. Okay, so he's in a different district. So anyways, we met Dr. Edward Edgar Swansea, who's part of some brotherhood of Saint something or other. I've already forgotten. Um and we are both trying to track down the same vampire. Let me loot his uh, drawers here, though. Steal some of his money while he's staring at me. And he said nothing. There's gotta be something can be done to get out of this bullshit mess. No? Am I stupid or something? I've never even been through one before. It's locked, all right. All right, now the uh, if Swansea. Swansea is not my attacker, his name. it means somebody else came here tonight. Someone must know something. So the mission objective is updated to interrogate the locals instead of talk to them. Not long ago, this sort of mess Let's talk to the drunk guy. Hello, sir. May I disturb you again? You're still ugly as sin. Thanks. Uh, those are no new options. I'll leave you to your bottle then. Welcome back. Did you find what you were after? I can't say I have. Are you sure no one else came into your bar before I arrived? Hey, I told you, you were the only other stranger I've had. Goodbye, Mr. Watts. I'm gonna go talk to this lady first. So it looks like there's another option for his conversation tree. She's cleaning the blood. Evening, sir. Can I help you? I have a few questions for you. Well, and if you doctor ask. slash detective. Vampire. I spoke to Dr. Swansea. He's not the man I'm looking for. Now, I want the truth. The truth? What do you mean? I suspect that someone else was here tonight, and I don't think Tom wants to tell me about it. I'm just the barmaid here, okay? If Tom says you're the only visitor we had, then you're the only visitor we had. I can feel your fear, madam. Please tell me what's going on. <sighs> it was Will. William Bishop. He came in here earlier tonight and he... Well, I thought he was going to clock someone. Hmm. Why are you so afraid? I mean, his skin. His hands. I've scrubbed every glass and every chair that he touched. God, I hope it's not contagious. It's fun. What happened tonight? I he was dead drunk, as usual. My God, his, his, his eyes. His face. He must have caught something awful. He shouted and, and cried. It was terrible. 
Tell me about this William Bishop. Will was a sailor who worked at the cannon factory before he lost that job. A nice bloke, really. He's never been violent. Until tonight. Why keep it a secret? Why not tell me about it? Tom's nothing if not loyal. After Will lost his job, he offered him one ear. They used to be good mates. But recently, well... Will started to get very aggressive. I see. Hmm. Thank you for your candor. I'll be sure. Seems like talk. Will's probably a recently turned vampire. It's probably not the guy we're looking for. But he might be able to give us information that will lead us to the guy we're looking for. And it looks like I just got a hint that I was looking for for the bartender's conversation tree. You just discovered a hint. It reveals a secret about a citizen or someone related to them. Let's see. Tom and William Bishop used to be good friends. Cool. There we go. So the blood quality of citizens is largely influenced by their health, obviously and the number of hints he gathered before embracing him or her. So if you plan on eating any of the citizens in this world, the more hints you have, the better quality blood you'll get, which means the more XP you'll get from eating them. Cool. Now I do know there's a trophy for not eating any citizens in the game, so I think I'm going to try and do that, but we'll see. What can I do for you? Tom, talk to me about the visit from your old friend, William. Yes, Will came by tonight, but he's not my friend anymore. Why lie to me if he is not your friend? I didn't lie. I said you were my only unannounced customer, and that's the truth. Who is he? William sailor who loves his gin too much he worked for years at the canning factory before it closed is he dangerous yeah like many drunks he's all bark and no bite can barely stand up like this guy over time. here how was he tonight was he different oh, sicker than usual perhaps he whined and mumbled about how mean people were to him and how he liked to talk to me outside and then he left when I refused. I need to find him. It's a matter of urgency. Do you know where he is? You could try his boat. It's up by the North Pier. He sleeps there when he's too drunk to get home. Please describe him to me. What do you expect? He's a tall, sick bastard with a bad rash and torn old clothes. William used to be strong. Now he's a mess. Thank you, Tom. If you see him, tell him I don't want him back here unless he cleans up his act, okay? Damn it. I can drink no longer soon. Alright, so I need to go try and find Tom down at the boats, it looks like. Not Tom. William. Tom's a bartender. We'll be doing that in part two of our Vampire Let's Play series. Join us next time at Odin's Unkindness. And if you like this, let us know in the comment section below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.